Welcome back, tech enthusiasts. In our last episode, we dive into the fascinating world of AC power over fiber solution using high voltage to light up your remote areas. And today in this video, we are exploring a game changer in the tech landscape, the DC power over composite fiber optic cable, a concept echoing the efficiency of power over ethernet. But you may ask, why are we using the composite cable? Now let's get illuminated. In a long distance setup, a standard fiber optic cables which are chems and transmitting data, but it cannot carry the power. So composite fiber optic cables pack a punch. They house both power carrying wires and fiber optics in a single cable, combining the speed of light data transmission with the energy to power up devices all streamlined it into one durable cable and that's what we're using for today's setup also we're passionate about empowering our community with technology if you're facing attack design challenges or have a project in mind that could benefit from our expertise now we're offering a free tag design consultation that's right all for free and this is your chance to bring your ideas to life with the support Support of our tag gurus. And let's get back to the composite fiber optic cables. Now they're great for challenging environment. The outer jacket is built tough for industrial use. You can even bury it under the ground. They also shrug off electromagnetic interference that could wreak havoc on a data transmission. An incredibly versatile. And whether it's powering remote civilians' cameras or ensuring seamless communication in an industrial complexes, this cable have got it covered. Now you may wonder, why didn't we start with DC in the first place? Well, it's all about balancing act. Longer cables means more power loss and higher currents heat things up, leading to even more loss in a long distance transmission. While AC can travel further with less power loss under the same conditions, DC brings a key advantage to the table safety so comparing ac and dc is like comparing two superheroes each has its strengths and for the same distance and power loss ac might generate more power but when it comes to safety especially in a sensitive industrial environment dc has the upper hand and without saying you can see behind me is our setup for today we are going to connect to this bullet camera and a wireless SS point using our composite fiber optic cable. So let's begin the connection together. Here we have the router to provide the internet access, and this is the NVR. It's already connected to the router and the monitor, the display video footage from the bullet camera that we're about to connect. And they're already connected together. We are going to use a short patch cord here to connect the router all the way to this media converter. Since we cannot plug in the fiber optic cable directly to our router, that's why we need this media converter to convert the electrical signal from the copper cable to optical signal in a fiber optic cable. So let's plug it into this compact device and power it up. And we will need this SFP transceiver since this is where we connect to the fiber optic cable. Today we are using this single mode LC connector. Let's plug it into the SFP transceiver and slide it into this media converter. So over this side we're done and we're sending the signal all the way from this fiber patch cord to this distribution box. Plug it and plug it into the distribution box. Inside the box, we already have the composite fiber optic cable. We have the fiber optic cables and the wires. And as you can see, it is connected to our DC power supply. Now, our fiber composite fiber optic cable use a 20 gauge wires. And this size strike a perfect balance between the power capacity and physical flexibility, making it ideal for a wide range of applications. So coming over this side, we have another distribution box. We need this to keep the whole setup clean and neat, and you can add up to multiple wires and fiber optic cables. 
And again, we are going to use our fiber patch cord to connect it to our industrial PoE switch. Now, meet our switch, this thing can handle input voltage from 30 to 60 volt DC and a total 185 watts PoE power budget supply up to 8 PoE devices with 30 watts maximum power. And the automated voltage regulation can ensure a consistent output voltage regulated power supply to stabilize fluctuating voltage. And it is designed to thrive in a harsh environment, boosting voltage as needed while ensuring your network performance reliably. And also, it has a hardened gray rugged IP40 aluminum housing. The working temperature range is from minus 40 degrees up to 75 degrees. And also, it has an enhanced surge protection. And we are going to insert this fiber patch cord. Again, we need this SFP transceiver. Since we have this switch, we don't need another media converter because this does it all and slide it into our switch here. It is already connected to a power supply from the distribution box. And again, the distribution box is already grounded. And now our switch is ready and we are going to connect it with both of our devices. First, we have our bullet camera. Next, we have a wireless SS point. As you can see, all the indicated lights are on. It is receiving the power all the way from over there, the power supply. And it's working fine. We are going to see the video footage on the monitor. I'm going to wave my hand to show you it works perfectly. So our whole connection is done and simple. And to wrap this up, our composite fiber optic cables and the rugged switch offer a powerhouse combo. They extend the reach to areas of the grid, enhance reliability, performance, and centralized management, making them indispensable in today's connected world. And whether you're lighting up a remote location or powering through industrial challenges, the composite fiber optic cables and the switch are your go-to solution. And if you get any questions or insight, please feel free to drop them in the comment section below. And please don't forget to like, share, and subscribe for more. And thank you very much for joining us. Until next time, stay connected, stay powered.